One of the best ways to see cherry blossoms in Tokyo is at the Empress Palace. You can take a boat under the hundreds of cherry trees there, and in this video, I'll show you how to do it. The walls are really impressive and run about five kilometers around the palace grounds. This area is called Chidori Gafuchi. It means clover moat, the small wading birds that became a motif in the Edo period. They've planted nearly 300 trees over the last century, and about 10 days every year, it becomes one of the most iconic scenes in the country. Visitors can hire boats to row or paddle around the moat, under the trees, and even through the fallen petals on the water. It's a truly sublime experience. But with over a million people visiting at Hanami time, the competition for one of those boats is seriously high. So let me explain how the hiring process is managed to give you the best chance of getting one. First of all, the boathouse is open from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. and the last ticket is for 8 p.m. Advanced bookings are not possible. You must visit the boathouse in person to get a ticket. The easiest way to get there is to take a train to either Kudansta or Hansamon stations. The boathouse is about midway between the two, and I recommend starting from Hansamon. It's a direct 15-minute walk under Blossoms, and you'll easily find the boathouse with the staff waiting to help you out. Here's the notice board by the boathouse, and you'll see it gives some general information about the boats, cost and hire times. They have more than 60 boats in two basic sorts. They're either traditional rowing boats or paddle boats, which come in three different styles. There's a smaller one for up to two adults, a larger one for parents with up to two small children, and these swan boats, which are also large enough for parents and children. At the time of making this, uh, spring 2024, the basic cost is 800 yen for 30 minutes. That's about $5 US. And you can extend that time to an hour if they have the boats available. Now, the booking process is in two parts. You first use the terminals to make a booking to hire whichever boat you want and at the time you want to take it. And then you return later at that time to pay for it at the kiosk and actually take the boat from the jetty. In practice, of course, your booking will be limited by the availability of the boats. So you'll find two queues when you get here. One is to use the terminals to book the boat and the other is to pay for it at the boathouse kiosk when the time comes. OK, the booking screens look like this and there's a button to change the displayed language. You can see it offers time slots in 30 minute intervals through the day and types of boats. They're called row boats or cycle boats, which means any of the three sorts of paddle boats I described earlier. You can't specify the individual sort of paddle boat you want if you want a smaller, larger or a fabulous swan boat, unfortunately. The paddle boats are just handed out in rotation at the time you've booked and you take your chances. The text there says 57 persons ahead, and it actually means the boats that are available, 57 boats available, it's just a localization error. But if you need a family boat, the process is to say so to the staff when you book the time slot, and they'll make a note for that time, which they pass on to the jetty stewards so that they don't give your boat away to someone else. Then you return at the time you've booked and join the queue to pay for your boat. You go to the kiosk here, present the QR code at the machine and pay the fee. Note that the machine only takes cash, you can't pay any other way, so do make sure you've got the money in coins or a note. If you want to extend the time to an hour, you would do that now by selecting the option that you can see here, if they have the availability. You can see there's a red banner there, it says sold out, so the display is showing that you could have an extra 30 minutes if you want a rowboat, but not in the paddle boats anymore today. Then you proceed down to the waterside, and if you've specified a larger family boat, the stewards will manage that on the jetty, having been pre-warned. The stewards will also help you get safely into the boats and nicely away from the pier, and they'll help you when you come back in too, as you can see. So a couple of things to add here. The demand is very high, and if you want to take a boat at a particular time, you will need to get here early, or the time for your booking is likely to be a lot later in the day. Now you could fill a leisurely hour walking around the top of the ramparts and uh, the rest of the park. Uh, I've made a video about that, see the link here. What I'd recommend is to go first thing in the morning, get a ticket, and then you'll know what time you're boating and you can manage the rest of your day accordingly. Finally, uh, remember that alcohol is strictly prohibited. You don't want to end up like this guy, do you? So 
If you're lucky enough to be here in Tokyo for Hanami, good luck getting a boat. It's a truly magical experience and it's one you will not forget. See you again. <laughs>